help us, uh, you know, your health is important to us all, Jamie. <laughs> Everyone's health is important, but I appreciate that. Thank you, Joe. Hi, this is James O'Keefe. I'm captain of the Massachusetts Pirate Party. Thank you for catching one of our uh, bi-weekly, I think that's the right term, um, uh, member meetings. You are welcome to join us. We're moving over to um, communitybridge.com. Well, I certainly hope so. That's one of our items on our agenda, um, <clears throat> which is hosted by uh, the Agaric Cooperative and all the great folks over there. Um, we have uh, a decently sized, busy agenda. Uh, first, I've, I've introduced myself. Who else is, is on the call, if you wish to identify? Hi, uh, my name is Joseph Onorowski, based out of Lowell, Massachusetts, though I often find myself in strange places. I am your treasurer and or quartermaster and so much more at your disposal. Uh, this is Steve Revelak. I am the first officer and I hail from Arlington, Massachusetts. Thank you. Um, so, as I said, we have an, a busy agenda. Is there anything folks want to add to the agenda? Okay. Hearing nothing, um, so for reports, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I have anything to report. <laughs> we had our, our pirate news uh, last Saturday, last Sunday. Um, the conference video is up, um, and an email update really needs to go out, which uh, knowing me will probably be this weekend, because uh, you know. Work is work. So uh, with that, um, one of the things, any, any reports from uh, others? Nothing to report on the Treasury. Uh, nationally, we had some news as to how to stop trolls. I think you were a big part of that conversation, Jamie. But I didn't really see anything that was already hatched out long ago. So I don't know what to add to that. Thanks, Joe. Steve, do you have anything? Uh, nothing. Okay, great. Um, just for folks, uh, I'll make sure that this folks who are watching this um, will put a link in the description to the U.S. Pirate Party Discord channel. You can find us in the uh, Massachusetts um, channel there. Um, and so... Um, I know Joe is on it, I'm on it, um, and we're always interested in talking with folks there. Um, you know, we're on Twitter, X, whatever it's called. We're on Mastodon, we're on Facebook. Um, but, as you may or not have known from our previous Pirate News video, we're not on Instagram, and as a result, we won't be on threads. So, anyways, go catch that. Maybe we'll link to that as well. Um, so with that, as I said earlier, um, for decisions and endorsements, the first item is to, uh, we're currently using meet.coop um, for these types of videos. Uh, however, they're, and the nice thing about it is it allows people to connect by phone call, to connect online. The phone, the mobile phone support, shall we say, is not always the best, um, and they've had some problems with phone calls. So uh, Community Bridge, which we first tried out at uh, our previous conference, worked out fairly well and um, allowed us to not only display what was uh, being shared, but also uh, the video from any participants who chose to give video, or to, to enable their video, uh, and, you know, most importantly, the, the phone service works. So um, I've put on the agenda that we should move from meet.coop uh, to community bridge, and then donate $15 a month 
to them for the service. Uh, does that make sense? Um, should we stick with meet.coop? Should we move? Should we stay or should we go? Um, now, meet.coop is um, there. I under my understanding was they're not going to be around much longer. Uh, so I had heard, yes, their, their plans were they were looking to hand it off, hand the service off to somebody else. I think they found a service in France that was willing to take it. Um, of course, Agaric is local to Massachusetts, so that makes it, uh, you know, we can easily get them on the line when we have questions. <laughs> So, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I was going to say, I, I know several of the Agaric folks and I, you know, would fully, I would feel good supporting them <laughs> by being subscribers of one of their services. I have no real understanding as to which one would be better or what would be worse than this decision, so I abstain. All right. I mean, the software is just so you know, the software is the same, Joe. Um, however, uh, Community Bridge seems to keep theirs more updated, so we get whatever new features are in Big Blue Button, which is the software they use. And the phone service works, and we get extra video options, from what I can tell. Oh, well, then that's just nice. Um, Let's do it. Again. Yeah. All in favor if of just doing it? Sorry, go Joe. Both think it's a good, if you both think it's a good decision, then just do it. All in favor of just doing it? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. All right. Um, I will set that up and talk with our uh I, I know how to do it i'll just go get it done and make sure that i think we've got the videos off of meat um but um i'll make sure there's no videos there that we don't already have somewhere archived at least okay so uh the national party is organizing a september 11th camera mapping outing um, following on our cctv.masspirates.org map of surveillance cameras around the world. Um, I thought it would be a nice thing to do. I know it's something that I'd be happy to organize in Boston, uh, the Boston area or other areas if you, people want to know. If you, fo Just for folks watching, if you want to do it, just go to cctv.masspirates.org and there are links to documents we've put together for how you can use OpenStreetMap on your phone to map surveillance cameras or map them on your laptop or whatever. Uh, do we want to have such an event? I am willing to be lead for that, by the way. Uh, yes, I think if we're having everybody else do it, we should do it too. And I wouldn't mind even doing it in different states like New Hampshire and Connecticut. That's a good idea. I mean, we can reach out to folks we know in, in other states and see if they'd be willing to sponsor an event and we could come down and help them out or up and help them out. Um, so to love. So for us... Like, looking at the schedule, um, wow, we're in August. Wow, man, time flies. Um, okay, September 11th is a Monday. So that could be the 9th or the 10th if we were to do it. Assuming a weekend. I mean, otherwise, I mean, I suppose we could do Monday afternoon. Or uh, during lunch. 16th. Well, that's so lunch is a little harder. Sorry, go on. I think the six, the 16th would work better for me. Okay. Um, the 9th and the 10th would be tough for me. Sure. 
I mean, not I mean, having two events dangerous. is. Uh, sorry, go, Joe. Yeah, that that being said, if you guys still want to go ahead and do it, and I can always do it at another time, that's fine. I mean, I'm willing to do – so just, just so you know, we do have on the second uh, the uh, Boxborough Pfeiffer's Day. Um, so having the ninth would be – and the tenth is possible um, – I don't know what folks schedule. Certainly the 16th is, is easier to do two days, I mean, two weeks apart. Yeah, um, I, I like Joe's suggestion of this uh, of the weekend of the 16th. Then it shall be. Uh, what time and where? Sorry for the delay. I was thinking, um, where have we not done a mapping event before? I mean, there's, there's been... Uh, 99% of, of Massachusetts. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, I mean, we've done, the, we've done the gardens. We've done, to my recollection, I think we've hit the gardens a couple times now. So I'd like to go someplace that's still a high traffic area, but maybe someplace we haven't done, like, um, I don't know, any a number of the colleges. We can do Boston College. We could do, um, you know what I mean? Someplace where there'll be curious people asking, what the heck are you doing, you know? Well, you know, if we wanted to be more symbolic about it, you know, Logan Airport <laughs> would be. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, and, to get arrested. The, the last time we did that, we got in trouble. <laughs> um, so, us to leave. <laughs> but I'm, uh, how about East Boston? Oh, that's mm. or Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea would be, Chelsea'd be good. Hill. We could do Bunker Hill, too. Someplace historic, like around the Constitution. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking at Medford and Everett and Somerville and Charlestown. Um, you know what? We could always do it too over down by Fenway. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a lot of cameras around the um, mm -hmm. around there, around um, the medical centers and stuff like that. Yeah, all over that place. Could also do a university. I'm thinking. Like wander on I mean, MIT and <laughs> or Harvard. You know, I mean, any of the where there's a lot of students, because people might get curious, ask us what we're doing, and strike up the conversation. I think the idea of doing it along the strip by MIT, like down mm -hmm. that boulevard, um, where everyone's one running, but two being able to have a tabling event where we can incorporate into it and then that way we can hit all the curious minds and get the conversation going. I mean, I don't think there's going to be a lot of people along here. And I know personally a lot of Kendall square area and MIT have been mapped. Uh, in the past we've done, we've had two events in this area. We had one centered around here. Um, and then we've also done Worcester in the past. Yeah. I mean, we've got some cameras mapped up in Lowell right now, so. Right. 
Yeah, I mean, one of the a couple of the reasons uh, I was thinking East Boston. Well, it's you know, it's not Logan, but it's close to Logan. It's mm-hmm. also um, you know a minority area with a high Hispanic population. Um, yeah, and just looking at the map, we. I, I know there's stuff, I, I assume there's stuff there that has not been mapped. It's just a big void. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it is a, you're right, it is very much of a big void. Um, well, I think then that's a good call. Sure. East Boston yeah. sounds, sounds good. Um, probably we should uh, find, uh, I'm sure that, yeah, I mean, I think when is yeah. So the blue line will be open. Um, so probably picking a blue line station. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, and then uh, a blue line station that is not aquarium. I mean, not um, airport. Not Logan. <laughs> Yeah, so you you've got Maverick is is one between there, and I think there's one other. But I mean, you know, we I a, a good, one approach would be to just you know find two blue line stations and just work mm-hmm. between them. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, and then okay, so the sixteenth uh, East Boston between from one blue line station to another, and then when what time? Uh, I'm thinking we should probably start uh, probably early afternoon. That way we spend some time doing it. I would like to set up some place that we'd be able to do a table event at the start of it, at least to organize and then go from there. Sure, I I can certainly bring a table that we can put out. You know. Yep. Okay, so uh, noon. Some place where, yeah, some place where we could easily find parking, so we can bring in that stuff. Okay, so East Boston, pick two Blue Line stations to walk from one to the other, and um, meet at noon and uh, bring a table with literature. And how to guides. You know, my and then after spot to meet up. Sorry. Uh, good spot where we might be able to meet up is the East Boston YMCA. Good question. I mean, a good place where we can park. We we know we'd have a good spot to at least coordinate from. And it might actually not hurt to connect with the YMCA in order to bounce off of them to see if we could grab a room for doing like an after event. That's an idea. Uh, So YMCA um, East. Yeah, but the the Bremen Street Community Park would be a good place to set up a table, especially if the weather's fair. And if the weather's not fair, then maybe the East Boston YMCA. And I can, especially if we're doing like a community event where we're trying to organize people and make them more aware of politics and taking a positive role in their life and stuff like that, they they might let us get away with that. You know, community activism. So here's Maverick, here's Airport, and here's Wood Island or three spots. Just saying the East Boston YMCA is a good spot to park, and there's lots of people there all the time, and young young minds and old minds and people who actually care about uh, the community and stuff like that. Okay. I mean, we could yeah. meet at airport, or, or we could tell people to meet here and then walk in kind of this area and, and aim to meet back at Maverick. And see if there's, like, a restaurant or something we can go to, preferably with outdoor seating. 
a restaurant in in East East Boston? Yeah, I'm sure there is. Tons, <laughs> tons of restaurants there. All of them are like really good too. Yeah, like a, a so Chel. Um, I know Bennington Street is sort of like one of the more commercial areas. Chelsea Street looks a little bigger on the on the map. Um, you know, between now and then, I'll try to do a little bike around, head over there and do a little bike around. So Bennington here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know someone who, there's a pirate who lives in Chelsea who we could, we can ask as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got a tentative plan. Um, you can get a form up and uh, have people, you know, sign up. Uh, but I, I mean, we can, yeah, it would probably be good to do a reconnaissance in the area just to, to pick a place. Mm -hmm. Um between now I mean, and, you know, next meeting. Yeah, I know for a fact that uh, the Bremen Street Community Park, though, nice mm -hmm. wide open park, and if the weather's fair, it's there's generally a lot of people up in that park, you know, a lot of people we can talk to. Okay. And the you expressway, I mean? is, is this underground or is this above ground? I'm trying to remember. Uh, I'm sorry, the what? The East Boston Expressway, that's below ground, right? Or some of it, at least. I'm not as familiar with the, with okay. the railways. No, I was thinking of the um, highway. This stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right off, uh, that's right off of 1A. Is Bremen yeah. Park right off of 1A, so... So you could literally take that and go straight up the coastline. So it's basically take Revere Beach and go down from my side. Okay. So, I mean, that takes you right next to the airport, and you could also, you know, I used to go back that, down that way and go down 1A in order to get the back end of into Boston, the airport. Fun fact, my... Uh, my stepfather used to coach uh, softball like a few blocks away, so I know the area pretty well. Nice. <clears throat> so, right. Long story short, um, yeah, there's a ton of people in there that, and you're right, we we could probably we could talk to a lot of people there that are normally kind of unnoticed, but make up a huge important part of the the city. So. I like it. I think, Steve, you had a great idea. Well, thank you, sir. And I just never, I just discovered, um, not realizing, never realized this, but part of Logan's runway is actually in Winthrop. <laughs> Go figure. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hey, yeah, you see, the, there's, there's a line, yep. Yeah. This section there, yeah. I'm not quite oh oh hello it doesn't no. look like that from from the map I'm looking at it's hard to tell I know it's kind of interesting to think that well anyways I mean this is all filled in land so well, Winthrop is also another special, another important place because the the all of the MWRA sewers flow through Winthrop. <laughs> yeah. They go out of Boston into Winthrop and then back into Boston to, on Deer Island. <laughs> well, Winthrop would be an amazing place if we were doing like a save the beaches, like stop global warming, because how many times is Winthrop underwater every time there's a bad winter storm? Yeah. You know? Yeah, for that some reason, I always I always thought it was Revere, but, you know, Winthrop is also, like, Winthrop Shore Drive is is kind of low-lying, and it's, it is right on the beach. <laughs> yeah, 
every single winter storm, there, there's a part of Winthrop that's underwater. Mm. And generally, it's not a small section either. It's like these, like, 12 houses are have the ocean on their door. Right. So. But, yeah, no, right. I, I like East Boston. There's some right, really, so really good put together a, a sign-up form for that. Um, so, let's see. Uh... Uh, we just had our conference. Um, it would be good to have another, plan to have another conference before it gets cold, uh, which I know it's August, so it seems hard to think that would be the case. But uh, we're in New England, and it changes rapidly. So um, September seems too close. Um but at the same time, there's the possibility there might be a place in Acton we could use that uh, may have a pool. If you want to go into a pool in September. I was going to suggest October 7th. But I'm fine. Yeah. I, I think October 7th is, is a good date. Um, and that gives us three weeks between the camera mapping event and and that. Uh, what do you think, Joe? I have no objection. Any suggestions for? Should we try if if Acton is available? Is that a good place to go, or should we try someplace more in a city, or what? Uh, Acton is in my neck of the woods, but there's not as much in Acton. Acton is generally like. A place where whenever I think of Acton, it's like off the beaten path. So, um, we do a well, why, don't, why don't we do this? We can at the next week we can um, ask supporters for location suggestions and decide at the next meeting or so. Sounds good. Sounds good. And we can I mean, find out more about the Acton site if that's a possibility. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine to, with doing that. Uh, but what I was thinking is maybe we can do like mm -hmm. a Braid Tree or a Rail Dock, uh, Randolph or like a Brockton. Maybe like someplace down further south because we always seem to go like up and north. Sure. So where I'd like to see us get more, where there's a lot of uh, issues, maybe even down like Denham, Norwood someplace that's on the other side of Boston. Mm -hmm. We always, again, seem to drift north. Um, and we haven't really, maybe even some places just as closer to home like Brookline, you know. Some place that still has uh, plenty of people and plenty of communities that we can reach out to. Good ideas. But, just a thought. Yeah. Um, okay, so next on the agenda... Oh, sorry. I suppose I should formally say this. Um, so is October 7th a good date? Oh. Just, to be, just to be clear, Joe, are you fine with October 7th as suggested by Steve? October 7th would be a tougher day for me. The following week or the, the 14th or the 18th. Or 28th would be better. Either of those is fine with me. 14th is fine, then. All right, 14th it is. I'm trying to see if there's anything in the schedule that conflicts. I don't see anything. Uh, so Saturday the 14th. Yes. Great. Okay. Uh, do you want to tentatively say noon? Assuming that we don't find a site that's like, no, we close at noon. We love you, Somerville Public Library. You're a great place. Does Have that sound fun? Any of the libraries to do MeshNet? We've not yet. I know I've been slacking on reaching out and trying to do MeshNet with the 
with my own local library, but maybe I can do a reminder note for myself. Oh. Well, Raspberry Pis are coming back in stock, so using Raspberry Pis for mesh nodes is a lot easier now. Um, Okay, so October 14th uh, is the tentative date at noon, tentatively uh, looking for locations. Um, U.S. Pirate Party issues. Joe, you had mentioned some of that earlier. Uh, anything that we should consider or decide on, give feedback for? Uh, I wouldn't say it's anything for us to really consider. Um... I think their big concern right now is with trolls and possible trolls coming out of Utah, I think is the latest thing. But literally what happened is, and the reason why I had nothing to really add to the conversation, even though you were going back and forth with them, was because everything that they were talking about was already in all the training manuals, on swarm care manuals specifically. So I didn't really feel like I had much to add to the, much to add to the conversation. It's well, pointing that out aspect. is always a useful thing. I mean, hey, Rick Falcon already thought, thought, thought of this here. <laughs> let us let us read the book. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I joke. You know, and not to mention like certain individuals, but there are some people who just see trolls everywhere, and it's like I appreciate what they've done for the party, but at the same time, it's like we can't really live by a fear of trolls in order to stop us from doing what we do. Sure, if we discover a troll, then we handle it accordingly, but if somebody asks about it, we have to respond in kind, and if it turns out to be a troll, then we just move on. You know, it's not... I'm not going to be like, this person's formatting seems so much like a troll, and then not respond, because if it, on the off chance that's not a troll, we should not treat them poorly. You know? So... That being said... Treat people well until they prove otherwise, I guess. Yeah, I mean, exactly, exactly. I mean, until we know for sure that that person is trying to mess with us, then, boy, like, yeah. I know I've had the shortest-lived, um, shortest-lived time as captain because of certain certain individuals, but... It's, we don't need to go there. It's, it's not even a thing. I don't care. I understand. Um, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. it is what it is. That being said, there I have stepped down personally from a lot of my responsibilities on the international and national level, and that way I can really get my attention back into our local chapter, which is where it really needs. So um, I'm hoping to do more down with, with us here and uh, hoping to really focus more on doing events here. So that's my hope and dream. Thanks for the update, Joe. Um, um, so the last is, sorry, go on. And quick question. Are you looking to not do the IT on the national level anymore as well? Um. I'm looking, it, it makes sense to diversify what the things that I do uh, so that others can take on those responsibilities and have the tools and knowledge to do that. So, I mean, I'm always there to help, but I'd like to concentrate locally um, yeah, as well. That's exactly, so. that's exactly how I feel with the platform. And, you know, I mean, I've, I've given a lot of attention, but I'd really like to pass that buck. You know. So, okay. Leaving room for others is always a good thing. Um, so the last decision is is uh, so the Boston Mayday Coalition, which um, they did the July Fourth event. Um, they've I don't want to characterize it. Uh, I mean, they, they organized one of the May Day rallies or marches. Um, I thought it was interesting that there were at least two in Boston this last May Day. 
Um, so, anyways, uh, there are various members of uh, Boston Mayday Coalition who are anti-trans um, and not supporting our trans, our, our fellow, um, our, our fellow trans humans and all. So, um, anyways, we've been asked if we want to boycott this or not. I mean, we're pro-trans, so saying that we are pro-trans and oppose, um, People being anti-trans is always, you know, is certainly something that we generally agree with. And, you know, we haven't gone to any of their events anyways. So <laughs> we've gone a while. So going, um, looking at the Instagram post, that sort of yeah. call to action, um, it's like, yeah, I know the people from the BMDC who are named. Um, Didn't know they expressed those those attitudes, but you know, I never saw a situation where they where they would have maybe had the opportunity. There is quite a list of organizations on the uh, on the boycott. So I'm 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 inclined to support. What do you think, Joe? Uh, to be perfectly frank, I am not familiar with with what's going on here. Um, but I mean, I'm all for and for um, individual autonomy and a person's right to choose their life for themselves. And being anti-trans seems very against being pro pro autonomous. So I can't. Uh, I think you already understand my stance on it. Um, well, let me ask you this. All in favor of joining the boycott? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Motion passes. We'll forward that information on to said organizers of the boycott. Um. <clears throat> So, uh, in terms of projects, um, no update on local outreach. Uh, we have the video newsletter coming up for this Sunday. Yes? Does that work? Yes. Great. Um, and then... Uh, oh, that's right. We were supposed to go over the PPI application, weren't we, Joe? <laughs> All yeah, right, we no were, worries. But... Let's schedule some time, you and I, and we'll go over the application. Sure. Um, or does so, it make sense at this point? You know, honestly, I'm just not uh, – I'm looking to pass off those responsibilities from the okay. USPP, and – I know that Mitch was going to take over that and really focus on getting that done, but I I know that they were looking for a small sum of money, and honestly, I haven't even had a chance to send them anything. Um, so they're probably not so happy with me at the moment, but it's been a little while since I've been happy with what's going on nationally so or internationally. So there, there was a couple of issues that were um, not transparent, if you will. So that being said, I, again, want to just refocus my attention on what's going on with with us here locally, get the movement going again, um, get our momentum back. And now that everything's so with the pandemic, even though there was a little bit of a scare of COVID coming back, um, I want to get it the in here again. You know. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? No, I just joke it left. <laughs> Still let a little low yeah. boil. <laughs> yeah. But I'm a person who wears a mask indoors, so there you go. You know, I'm fine with you wearing a mask indoors and everything, and 
I appreciate that. You know, especially with COVID popping in, but the one thing I never understood was people who wear masks by themselves in their own car. You know, I mean, I get it. I mean, you know, it's good for the facial recognition stuff, so, you know, I have no objection. <laughs> <laughs> but you're in the car with your license plate. <laughs> but that doesn't necessarily mean you are, in fact, driving the car. You could mm-hmm. be someone else. You could be. With, with, with white hair. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, to each their own. I think it's it's fine. They they understand their threats far better than I do. It's my basic viewpoint. So. I mean, again, individual autonomy, you do you. So, you know, I, I mean, I don't personally get every decision, but I don't have to. Mm-hmm. I just have to make sure that I'm on the straight and narrow. So, that being said, um, sure, we can... Uh, I'm fine if you want to spend some time going ahead with uh, the application, but um, I'd rather focus all of our attention right now on really just doing what we're doing here in Mass. I think that's where our energies will be best spent, and organizing events, doing events, doing things again, and focusing on um, building that momentum again because, you know, organizing, doing, getting out there, and Mm -hmm. practicing what we preach, Uh, especially not even for any of you folks, but for myself specifically, getting out there, doing it, making things happen in Lowell, I think is going to be the most impactful thing. So even if it's just me out there by myself on a tabling event, letting people know what's going on, you know, have a conversation, Mm -hmm. dress up do it. So, Conversations you know. are important. Personal goals. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, anything, so, like, we're at the ag- at the end of the agenda then. Yay. Um, so, for folks watching, you know, we do have open positions. Uh, if there's anything, we should be starting to schedule elections. Um, so if there's something you're interested in doing and you want to be an acting person uh, prior to the election, um, you're, we're, many hands make light work. So, um, and, you know, rotating people out of in and out of positions is always a good thing. Uh, fresh ideas and all. Um, so with that, um, we're meeting Sunday for Pirate News at, se- at 7.30. Um, we have events coming up, the Boxborough Fifers Day, the camera mapping on the 16th, the um, tentative conference for October 14th. Um, with that, uh, is there any... Thing else to discuss? Nothing here. Uh, nothing here. Right. Motion to adjourn. Okay. Second. Any? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Yep. Uh, aye. <laughs> was that an aye, Steve? Yes, it was. Okay. You made pirate noises. <laughs> Not horsey noises. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, thank you very much. We are adjourned. Uh, thank you, folks, for watching us. Um, as always, if you want to chat with us, you can um, chat with us uh, at the U.S. Pirate Party Discord, um, ask questions. Uh, you can attend these meetings. Uh, we will be changing the location that we go to for that. Uh, you can join our activist email list. Um, that's a good place for conversation. And, uh, yeah, that's it. We'll be around. We'd love you to join us in the future. And with that, I shall end the recording. Take care, folks. Thanks, good night. everyone. Good night.